Church and State, the Israel Experiment. So my family is from Russia, which means my family ran from the Holocaust. We will travel to Palestine and Israel and ask Jews and Muslims, can a democratic nation exist in which there is no separation between church and state? If there is ever a situation like that again, which I hope there never will be, there's a place for us to escape to. Good morning, APEC. That uh, conference will be filled with congressmen, candidates for office, who are all waiting to be koshered by the Israel lobby to see if they're fit for office. But as I told President Trump yesterday, it's especially great to be in America's capital now that he has recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital. It's my subjects and my name is real and my holy man. It's our holy your... places it's too, not a... Rabbi. No, it is not. Oh, no, no. It's 1.8 million Arab citizens living within the boundaries of Israel who uh, enjoy full rights. I had no rights. Yeah. No rights at all. I could not go back to Israel at all. No, can't go to Tel Aviv. It's not, for security reasons. It's far too long now. The Israel lobby has had a stranglehold on U.S. Congress and really U.S. democracy. There are no separate roads within the sovereign state of Israel, so any Arab citizen of Israel is not subject to any of those distinctions on the roads. We are watching just on overdrive an alliance between um, the most far-right forces in Israel and the racist administration. There will be like a non-Jewish council. They will be underneath the Jewish council, not in like in hierarchy. Can basic human rights for all be guaranteed under such a government? In escaping persecution in Europe and elsewhere, have Jews in Israel manage to create a persecution-free zone? If not, what should happen next? Please support Peace Films in this, the pilot episode in our series, World Politics, The Straight Scoop.